Good morning, geeks. Happy Wednesday. All right, I will wait just a little bit and see if anybody hops on to see before I get started. I see people Mama, starting to hop on. Mama, I hmm? need a minute out so I can make Go ahead. clouds with this. Go ahead. You can take them to the other room. But I want this. You can take that to the other room. That's fine. Go ahead. But, but I have you sure you don't want me to wrap you on the front? No, I have to Okay. There's a lot of stuff in the wheel there, my friend. All right. Okay. We've got people on there. Good morning. Hello. Okay. So this week, our weekly front carry is short front cross carry tied at the shoulder. Um, this Mama, is a... Can I get them my little too? You can take them. No. I'm not going to pick them up for you. You can pick them up yourself. Um, this carry is great for seat popping and it's a very nice... Hi. It is a very nice poppable oh, no. carry. Be wrapped. You're too big for this one. Okay. Take your stuff and go play in your room. Thank you. Um, it's a very nice poppable carry. So if you really need to, if you have a baby that needs to go in and out a lot, um, then this is great for that because you can tie it once and leave it for the rest of the day or as long as you need it. Um, so this carry and I have a history. Um, I dislike this carry almost as much as I dislike Shepard's carry, which is a lot. And so I've been fiddling with it to try and make it more comfortable and spread better across the back because the original way of wrapping it um, was just not comfortable for me at all. So I'm going to first wrap it the way that the tutorial shows in the Weekly Carries Wednesday post, which is the original way, and then I'm going to switch and I'm going to rewrap it the way that I like to wear it and is much more comfortable and it spreads wider across the back to distribute weight and you can hammock the cross passes. It's really hard to hammock the cross passes in the original way to wrap it. Okay, so old way. We're going to start, this is somewhere between a base minus two and a base minus three for me depending on which um, size tiny person I am wrapping. I'm going to use a very small demo doll because my toddler is not interested right now. He'll come up for the back carry later. Okay, so I'm just going to start with just enough here to be able to tie a knot at the shoulder. And I'm going to make sure that it's not twisted or anything. Okay, then I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this hand and I am going to hook the wrap where I want it to be, right in the middle of my back. Good morning. I'm going to hook it right here in the middle of my back and then I'm going to put it up on my shoulder. So I have a loop that's not twisted um, and it's kind of a U shape on my back. All right. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it across into the first cross pass across my body and I'm going to make sure that the bottom rail lines up with where baby will sit. So if it's a newborn, around your belly button, maybe a little higher, um, depending on how long your torso is. I don't have hardly any torso. Um, and if you're wrapping a larger toddler, closer to like the top of your pants down here. So I have a small doll, so I'm going to anchor this right here, bring it around the back, then I'm going to let go in the front, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to tuck it through the loop on my back. You can put it back on, but I can put it back on for you. I cannot. I'm so sorry. What 
what a struggle. Okay, so I'm gonna put it through from outside to inside like a knotless tuck here. I can't fix it for you. I am in the middle of this, friends. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna anchor this here where I want the bottom rail to be. And I've kind of attempted to twist and hammock it. It doesn't always work well. So I'm gonna anchor this here and then I'm gonna and this here and I'm gonna pull this tight. And then I'm going to bring this around to the front and I'm gonna make a hammock by flipping it up so it goes from white side to blue side. And then I'm going to tie it at the shoulder. And I'm going to make sure that, wow, there we go. I'm gonna make sure that the knot is up high, close to my collarbone where I want it to land eventually. Okay, and now I can insert my doll. So I've got the doll sitting in the X here. And I'm gonna spread the two cross passes across his back. This carry is safest if you wrap it arms in because otherwise it's a backflip hazard. Okay, then, all right, so I've got it kind of hammock here. So now I can feed the slack from the knot around through the entire carry. So I'm gonna take, starting at the knot, I'm gonna pull the slack out and up, and then out through this pass across my back, which brings it out here. When you have a demo doll with no bum, it's really hard to keep the cross passes spread. Okay, and then this comes down and goes through the twist on my back. And then I have to drag the entire knot back up into the correct position. So this carry is just kind of a mess to tighten. And if you look at the passes that are across my back, it's just a mess. Now this intersection's way over here on the side and it's not spread and it's diggy and it's just weird. So that's why I don't like wrapping it this way because it's just a mess. All right, but that's how it works. Now I'm gonna show you the way that I like to wrap it, which is basically a backwards Silas twist, if you've seen that. So, Gonna undo the half knot that's on my back here. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take the middle marker and I'm gonna put it on the shoulder opposite of where I want my knot to be. And make sure that the wrap is hanging, not twisted in the front and in the back. Okay. Then I'm going to take this front part. I'm gonna do something kind of weird with it, but you'll see why it works. I'm going to take it and I'm gonna make my hammock pass. Then I'm gonna bring it across my back, spreading it out nicely.
under this tail in the back. Yeah, so backwards Silas twist, yes. Okay, so I've got my hammocked pass that I flipped under here, and now I'm spreading it across my back. Then, and it goes under the tail first, then I'm gonna make something like a Poppins pass, basically, and I'm going to hold the top rail and pass it to myself over this back tail, and then flip it up over my shoulder. So now this is my tight at shoulder tail, right here. So, I've got the first cross pass, and I've got this weird popping situation going on here. I'm gonna move this twist to the middle, right along my back, and I'm gonna hold the tail so I don't pull it around as I spread my second cross pass. Then I'm gonna take this tail, uh -huh, and I'm going to make sure that it spreads. What? What did I do with that? Spreads without um, twisting this the wrong way. I'm gonna spread it across my back. Just a minute, please. So it's spread wide again. And then I'm gonna flip it to hammock it in the front. So I have another hammocked cross pass here. And then I'm gonna tie it the shoulder. I cannot fix it while I'm in the middle of wrapping, love. Ask your brother to help you. Please. Okay, so it's a little bit easier to wrap this way. It's much easier to spread and it's much easier to tighten because you're not eating through that shoulder to shoulder chest belt on your back thing. That's just weird. Okay, and I've got hammock passes now, which I didn't exactly have before in an easy way. Okay. So the reason this works to spread is because this is essentially a Silas twist across your back, whereas the other one was essentially a short reckless bikini across your back. And if that has a hammock to cross pass, you can't spread it to save your life. You can't. Oh, oops, I almost forgot. This goes, uh, Mama, sorry. why is it up down? This hammock to cross pass actually goes up, down. inside up. this one. Why down, up, why down, Because it's up. easier to hammock that way. Mama, why down? Can I wrap you? No. Please? No. Would Hi. you like a popsicle? Ooh. I don't get a popsicle. You are too big. You are too tall. Sorry. You uh. can have a popsicle if he gets wrapped, okay? Yeah. Would you like... To be wrapped for a popsicle? <laughs> no, thank you. Or yes, please. No, please. Okay, and we'll wrap the baby doll then. Uh -oh. no, please, <laughs> please, please. It's the same passes in the front, so it's not a completely different carry. It's just spread differently across the back. Goodbye. Ah. Go back to your room, please. Don't interrupt. Yeah, okay, yeah. so when I put the baby in now. It's much easier to spread these hammock cross passes because of the way that they are ordered. Yes, the negotiations always. Okay, so I'm spreading arms in this cross pass up here in between us, kind of hard to see, there we go. So it's spread all the way across my rib cage here. And this pass, instead of being connected to this pass, is actually connected to this pass. So I can pull the slack out from here up at the top and then bring it down and under and 
Again, pulling this up nice and high across my rib cage. And then I can pull the slack out at the top while holding the knot so the knot doesn't fall down. And I can strand by strand tighten through this pass through my little Silas twist and have it be still spread. pulled down. I'm going to pull the shoulders down here. So you can see how the top spreads and the bottom spreads. It's much wider than the other version. And it's just got that almost flat little twist in the middle rather than the big bulky almost shoulder to shoulder chest belt half knot that can't be spread because of the cross passes. I wish I could show you this with a big kid because when he sits in it it pulls the entire thing down and spreads it even more um, but he's not having it right now. So, um, I can post a picture in the comments from when I did it with him this morning, um, so you can see how it spreads. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's significantly more comfortable to have it spread across your back this way than it is to have it all bunched into that big narrow X with, um, the vertical half knot like back wrap cross carry in the middle of your back rather than this twist in the middle of your back and the taller the kid and the lower you get this twist if i can get it down there the more comfortable it's going to be if it's like at or below the level of your shoulder blades my shoulder blades are right here that's where it becomes the most comfortable and it's less shoulder heavy and more of the weight sits here on these bottom two passes than on the top two shoulder passes. All right, <clears throat> so if anybody has any questions about how this works and the difference between the original version and the new version um, that I was playing with this morning, please feel free to drop the questions into the comments. Um, if you're watching this as a replay after the fact, again, drop your questions in the comments and I or one of the other admin or moderators will be happy to answer the questions for you. All right, I'm gonna hop off of here and um, I will be back at noon my time, which is in like an hour and a half um, to do Becky's cross carry, which is another one of my favorite carries. Um, and I will definitely be wrapping a real child for that one. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching.